I'm going to share with you a little something about uh, photographing birds on the water, or really anything on the water. Um, and, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time because it, it's something that has become nails on a chalkboard to me. And I'm going to share it with you. And from here on out, you're going to hate me because it's going to be nails on a chalkboard to you. You're going to see it over and over again. The idea is, is, is when we go, I'm going to go to the crop tool here inside of Photoshop and I'll, I'll show you Lightroom in just a second, but let me, let me cover the concept here. The concept is, is when we photograph something on the water, sometimes it's not immediately easy to see if the photo is crooked. Okay. And, and this has come up a lot for me. I'm a member of a Facebook group from a local beach here in the Tampa Bay area where a lot of people go to photograph birds. And I see a lot of beautiful photos posted where I can tell these people are into photography. Like they're, they're taking photos that I know are with a good camera and a good lens yet they're crooked. So I know they care about photography, but they're not doing a key element in, in editing their photos. So here's a good example. We can go to the crop tool. This one is pretty easy to straighten. I, you can look at the horizon line of the, the seagrass back here meeting the horizon line. I know it's in Tampa. I, we just don't have hills. I know it should be straight. So it's pretty easy to go to your straighten tool and whatever crop tool you're using anywhere, they all have a straighten tool. And it's pretty easy to go and just take this photo and straighten it right along that, hit that little checkbox. And, and now, now the photo is straight. I'm going to undo that because sometimes it's not quite as easy. Maybe, maybe that's cropped out, you know, again, that's not necessarily the crop I would use for this photo, but maybe that's cropped out. Okay. Well, one of the things I'm always going to look for is the water along the line of where if the bird's standing in water, I'm going to look for the water along the line of the legs there. And if you were to take that straighten tool and you were to pinpoint it right there and start dragging it to where some other legs are in water, you're going to see that there's an upward slant to that. Okay. And it's not necessarily, you know, one bird could be behind another one. So there's something along the line too, but also take a look at the texture of the little ripples in the water. You can see again, I'm going to undo this. You can see if I were to drag along that texture, as I do it, you can see it's got an upward slant to it. Okay. So a lot of times that's what I'm going to use to straighten a photo like this, because we need to make that look a little bit more level. I might've overdone it there just a little bit, but we can get the idea here. Go to that straighten tool and just drag along the lines of some of those ripples that you see in the water. Okay. Again, and the reason why I'm sharing it, I'm going to share a bunch of different photos is because it's not the same for everything. And I want to, I just want to get you looking at it and thinking about it. Okay. I'm not going to say it's always going to be perfect and easy to do. So take a photo like this. Again, we go to the crop tool, we go to the straighten tool here, and you can see the, the ripple line along where this bird was walking. And that would be a good place for me to take the straighten tool and drag along because that should be horizontal. Okay. That should not be up and down. Go to another photo here. Again, same concept here. We just take that straighten tool. You can see the ripples in the water. You can see how they're all sloped downward. You can see how the bird looks like it's leaning forward. So again, we just take that and we just drag along that area here. Um, that would do the trick. And again, I used it in another example, but take a look at the legs and look at like where the, where the bird or whatever animal it is, take a look at the ripple that they're causing. And that's another little hint that you can use to go in there and straighten and do that. If we're inside a Lightroom here, um, I, you know, I, camera raw is the same thing. You go to your crop tool, there's a straighten tool there that you can use as well. So in this case, this one's a little bit easier. I would just take and straighten along the horizon line and there's an auto set setting there. I mean, nothing wrong with just clicking auto and seeing if it does the trick. And that actually did pretty good, but I can still see, I might want to rotate that around a little bit, but what you're going to look for, number one, if you do have a horizon line in there, of course, you've got to use it. You've got to straighten that horizon line. I think I actually butchered this one a little bit, but if you have that horizon line in there, you've got to, you've got to use it and you've got to straighten along that horizon line. If you don't have that horizon line, then that's where you start going and looking at some of the texture and patterns um, in the water to see if that can help. I think I have one more open here. Here's another good one. Again, same concept. You could see this bird looks like it's traveling uphill right? It looks like it's traveling uphill in water. And that would just not be the case. 
again, I can't give you exactly where you're supposed to click on this stuff, but sometimes you just have to use a little common sense. It looks uphill. So we're gonna go and we're gonna drag our straighten tool along there, along just the angle. You try to just get a feel for that angle, drag that straighten tool along there, and that really helps out. So I apologize ahead of time because I promise you, it, it, it's nails on a chalkboard to me when I see photos like this. And I promise you, unfortunately, from now on, it's probably gonna be nails on a chalkboard for you, but at least now you know how to fix it in your own work.